Hey everybody, I know you can't see me. I'm hidden. Um, how do you like my paintings? They're not really paintings, they're art, but they are science. And I'm with you today because I wanna show you how to do this at home. It's super simple. Um, things are around the house, so you shouldn't need um, many materials. The one thing that you might need though is some plain white paper, and I would cut it into smaller sections that are more easy to manage. Um, some sort of a clip. Paper clips work. Um, these little binder clips if you have some. Um, anything at all that you can find to hold it like this. Set up you need some regular old dish soap. Everybody probably has that lying about. A couple of colors from the food coloring. And you need just a tiny little bit of milk. Um, Goggles, if you have them, is best. And then you can create these awesome pictures like this. So this is called Marbleizing Milk Painting. What I have also set up here is just this little bowl. It's very small. We're gonna use just a tiny, tiny little bit of milk. We're just gonna put enough milk in here to kind of cover this over. Not a lot of uh, waste, okay? So I'm gonna go over here to my refrigerator. any old kind of milk. I'm pouring in just enough of milk to very lightly cover the bottom of the bowl so that I can't really see the bowl, okay? Let me get uh, this back over here. Let me flip this camera around and show you what this looks like. So there's my bowl, okay? And uh, this is where the cool science stuff comes in. So I'm going to get my blue. I'm just going to drop a couple in there. I like blue. I also like red. So I have another red off here to the side. So here's what's interesting about this. This is what the science is. So milk has fats, and they don't dissolve in water. However, we're going to use the soap to break down the fat molecules and allow the colors to mix. So this is where the cool part happens. Sorry guys if I'm making you a little bit crazy. Now you can stir that up if you want to or you can just grab your little bit of paper you just gently lay it in there. You can see it coming through a little bit. And then you pull it out. Now you have to hang it up to dry. But that's going to be pretty awesome, I think. Lay that over there for one second. my camera back around. Now I made a dryer for my paintings out of a regular old hanger where I can just put this up. But you got to be careful y'all because they do drip so you want to keep them in a place where when that stuff drips off it's caught. Okay? Don't make too much of a mess. It is very easy to do and uh, enjoy. If you do this experiment at home, please, please, please share the love and record your work, take pictures of it, and send it back to me so that I can post it up for everybody to see what you're doing to keep science going at home during this crazy time. Looking forward to seeing your creations. Bye.